What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and it's a beautiful Sunday morning out here on the lake and then we're fixing to head out with a group of divers to go do a little bit of treasure hunting at the local sandbar and I wanted to make a quick video on dive flags, the legality of them um, and the reason, there's two reasons I want to make this video. One, we were contacted by a good friend of ours on Facebook and Mr. Mark Davis asked if we could make a video talking about dive flags and what a boater should be on the lookout for anytime that they're out on the water. And I also want to kind of update a video that we made at the very beginning of this channel on the actual laws of a dive flag. Now the laws that we're going to be talking about today is strictly for the state of North Carolina. However, these laws can apply to your state as well. You just simply just need to look up what the general statute for your state is on the legalities of a dive flag. So what do I mean by dive flag? If you're out on the water, you may see the red and white flag or maybe even the blue and white flag when you're out there boating. Now, they each mean the same thing. One is just simply a commercialized dive flag or it means divers are on board. The other one simply means divers down. And the most popular one or the one that you see in movies or you may even see on your local waters is the red and white diver down flag. It's just basically a rectangle or a red square with a diagonal white stripe. Now, it doesn't really matter if it goes left to right or right to left, um, but that is the diver's down flag. That simply means that diving operations are uh, on way, or maybe they're already in the water diving, or maybe they're fixing, they're gearing up and fixing the dive. So when you see these flags, what are you required to do as a boater? Well, here in North Carolina, we actually have a general statute that I'm gonna read through, and this is general statute 75A, 13.1 and this applies to both skin divers and scuba divers. Skin divers are basically just free divers. And there's three sections to this. It says according to chapter 75A-13.1 skin and scuba divers, no person shall engage in skin diving or scuba diving in the waters of this state which are open to boating or assist in such diving without displaying a diver's flag from a mast, a buoy, or other structure at the place of diving. And no person shall display such flag except when diving operations are under the way in preparation. So basically all that states is, is that you gotta fly a flag anytime that you're in a body of water that is actually open to the public for boating purposes. It goes on to say that the diver's flag shall be squared, not less than 12 inches on the side, and shall be a red background with a diagonal white stripe of an width equal to one-fifth of the flag height running from the upper corner adjacent to the mass downward to the opposite outside corner. Now here it clearly states that in the state of North Carolina we must use the red and white flag. We're not allowed to use the blue and white flag. Now we can use it but it's not legal as far as what the red and white one is. And the last part of this section says that no operator of a vessel underway in the waters of this state shall permit such vessel to approach closer than 50 feet to any structure from which a diver's flag is then being displayed, except where such flag is so positioned as to constitute an unreasonable obstruction to navigation, and no person shall engage in skin diving or scuba diving or display a diver's flag in any locality at which the same will unreasonably obstruct vessels from making legitimate navigational use of the waterways. In short, basically what that saying is, is if you see a dive flag, you need to remain within 50 feet or stay outside of a 50 foot barrier of that flag. Don't come any closer to it. Um, now, let's say here at our local docks, because we got 131 boat slips here at our docks, and if there's a dive flag flying and you've got to be able to get into your slip for whatever reason or get out of your slip, then by all means, you don't necessarily have to abide by that 50 foot ruling because that would be blocking your legitimate navigational way of the water. So with that being said, all that we ask is just be respectful to the diver that's down below and you know go around him the best you can or give him a few minutes to surface and then go around. Now one thing that you can do if you see a diver's flag out there, look for bubbles. They're very difficult to see from a distance, but if you get close enough or within 50 feet of that flag and it's a nice calm day here on the lake, you should be able to see bubbles. And if you see bubbles, that's a good indication of where they're at. A neat little tip that I do when I help new boaters out is I tell you, look, if you got a depth finder or sonar and you see what depth you're in, more than likely that diver's probably, if those bubbles are moving, he's probably more than likely gonna be deep down. So if that flag does obstruct your navigational 
uh, way and you need to get around it, just kind of keep an eye out for those bubbles and understand he's probably going to be a little bit deeper. Now, he could be coming up to do a safety stop or if he's a tech diver, maybe he's doing an obligated deco stop. And in that case, more than likely, he's going to be flying a buoy system like this. Now, this is an SMB or what we call a surface marking buoy. We use it for multiple different things. If you see it in a a stationary position, maybe it's mark an object underwater, or maybe it's a diver who's actually drifting, or maybe he's doing a safety stop or deco stop, and he's got this flying so that the boat can kind of keep track of where he's at. Now, if you see this uh, buoy system at the surface as well, just keep in mind that's going to be a diver as well, and try to stay away from it. Just be a little respectful to the divers and stay away from it. Now, I will state that from a legal standpoint, this does not meet the laws of the state of North Carolina for a dive flag. So divers are still required to fly that red and white flag anytime that they're out in the waterway where boaters can be operating as well. But guys, I, Mark, I appreciate you asking that question too on Facebook about us doing a video on this. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you're respectful to divers. You know, our lake here, it's public waters. It's open for swimmers, fishermen, just boater or water enthusiasts. It's open to scuba divers and we need to respect each other. We wanna be safe out there. I know I do several body recoveries a year for local departments here and it's not something that that we really enjoy doing. Um, so we want to be safe when we're out on the waterway. Now, thankfully, we've never had a diver die out here that I'm aware of, at least not in my 37 years of existence. And it's because I believe that we're all safe. Anytime we put divers in the water, we always have some type of flag flying just for our safety and for the boaters to let, you know, let them know where we're at as well. But guys, be safe when you're out there. Look out for your divers. Even if you're not a diver, look out for that dive flag. Check for bubbles anytime that you are near a flag. And just remember, in the state of North Carolina, it's 50 feet. It may be different in your state. It may be different in your country or whatnot. But just about anywhere you go diving that is open for boating purposes, you are required to fly a flag. And if you're a boater, you are required to stay a certain distance away. But guys, I appreciate you watching this video. I hope it was useful to you. I hope it was educational to you and I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, simply hit that like button for me and definitely share it as well. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Once again, Mark, thanks for the question. We really enjoyed making this video for you. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.